hello everybody uh, now we'll discuss uh, regarding the some of the basic concepts of a machine design uh, now first thing uh, what is the machine design it is a design of a mechanical systems of like the elements the design means it is a calculation it is evaluation it is a synthesis variety of process will be there now basically we'll see the how the machine design is being classified machine design is being classified into the three category that is a machine mechanism and structure now let us see what is a machine a machine is a set of various elements arranged to transfer the power from one link to the another link what does it mean the basic word in machine is nothing but a power as it is being highlighted here now a machine will consist of a transfer of a power from one link to the another link or from one element to the another element for example lathe machine or screw jack is there now for example screw jack is being used to lift the vehicle now whenever the screw jack is being power operated then it will be called as a machine in lathe machine also we are using a different lead screw to provide the power a motor operation is there motor is going to rotate the chuck okay we are going to give the manual feed to that or automatic feed will be there and the operation will be carried out then it is going to transfer the power from one element to the another element then it is called as a machine then second one a mechanism it is a kinematic arrangement of a set of a links or moving parts to transfer the motion from one place to the another place now difference between machine and mechanism machine will transfer the power and mechanism will transfer the motion for example slider crank mechanism or steering gear mechanism is four bar mechanism it does not transmit any kind of power but it transmit the motion from one element to the another element then it is called as a mechanism in alternate language i can say machine is a, a mechanism is a machine when it transmit the power anotherly i can say machine is a mechanism when it transmit only the motion it is clear to all of you then next one structure it is a fixed part in case of a machine or a mechanism it does not transmit any kind of power then uh, we'll define clearly a machine design machine design is defined as a use of scientific principles technical information and imagination in description of a machine or a mechanical system to perform a specific function with maximum economy and the efficiency again see the definition properly a machine design is defined as a use of scientific principles technical information and imagination in the description of a machine or mechanical system to perform a specific function with maximum economy and efficiency that means it will use the all types of information it will use all fundamental laws newton's laws uh, what are other uh, basic laws will be required for the application of that machine okay uh, and all the design calculations will be there it is only for the maximum economy and the efficiency of uh, the component then there are different methodologies are there some traditional methodology of design methods are there one is a design by the craft evaluation and second one is a design by the drawing now what is this design by the craft evaluation this is an older method of the design where the components are manufactured by the skilled worker without any kind of drawing it depends on the experience of the worker for example i will tell uh, a bullock cart is there a uh, bullock cart is being manufactured from lot many years our grandfather or their fathers also have manufactured the bullock cart whether they have the drawing whether they have the any calculations with them no they don't have any calculation they don't have any drawing but this bullock cart still it is working how the a carpenter in a local village is going to manufacture it is based on the experience of the worker what he had done 
Yeah, I manufactured initially some axle, then wheels have manufactured. You have to check the load whether it is working or not working. If it is working, then <coughs> you have continued. If it is going to fail, uh, axle is going to fail, or wheel is going to fail, then here again increase the diameter or here change the material, you have change the wood or here have shifted to the metal, then here check whether it is going to work or not. If it is going to work, then here onward, he is going to manufacture according the same material, same diameter, same wood, okay, and he is going to manufacture all the bullock card. This type of methodology is called as the design by the craft evaluation. Then second one, design by the drawing. It is a formal design process or procedure where the conventional drawings are being preferred. Now, what is the problem with the design by the craft evaluation? It is based on the worker, his experience. What are the experience he will share with his colleague or what are his subordinates will be there. But this methodology is not a standardized methodology. Then replications of the component or replications of the machine in designed by the craft evaluation uh, it is not exact then in those cases uh, that technology lies with the only that person okay it becomes a monopoly and it is it cannot be a sustainable therefore the next methodology is there that is the design by the drawing where the drawings will be prepared calculations will be available this drawing can be taken by the any person and he can start the manufacturing process he can identify the drawbacks of, of that drawing also if any problems are there he can modify and he can furtherly utilize therefore here onward all over the world the design by the drawings methodology is being used design by the craft me uh, evaluation methodology is not being used now here we are studied the basic design then designed by the craft evaluation design different different methodologies okay okay thank you